Okay, so here we are in the Finder, and I've got a folder full of all of the different um, faces and mouth shapes that I and expressions uh, that I created in Photoshop. What I'm going to do now is create a new iMovie um, project um, by going down to the dock, opening up iMovie, and clicking on Create a New Project. I'm going to call this uh, my Photomation. Uh, make sure you give it a name that you're going to remember later on. Uh, the video format um, I had in mind when I um, created my images was DV. And I'm going to create a new document just like that. Now before you get started and uh, bring all of these images into um, iMovie, you should go to the uh, Media tab and go to the Photos. Um, just pick, pick a random photo from um, your iPhoto library. Now, what happens when you click on a photo in iMovie is that it brings up a little transparency which has the photo settings. Now, by default, you've probably got something like the Ken Burns effect turned on. You'll need to turn that off. Um, the other thing is you'll need to turn down any magnification you have on the image um, because it should be the size that you created and you don't want it to be blown up. As for the speed, um, speaking in a normal voice, most mouth sounds are most mouth shapes will last for about three or four uh, milliseconds so um, I'm going to just drag that right down uh, that slider right down so we've turned off the Ken Burns effect uh, we've turned off scaling and we've reduced the speed of photos um, to um, three milliseconds just there I'm going to close the uh, photo transparency click on uh, the clip tab down here so I can see the clip window the clip shelf rather um, once again, hold down Command Tab, go into the Finder, Command A to select all, and I'm going to import all of my images at once, like this. Now, what you'll notice is, uh, when we jump back into iMovie, is that each one of these images um, has a duration of uh, 3 milliseconds. So they're quite short and they should match up um, with mouth shapes. And when I was saving them, of course, I saved them um, according to the mouth shapes. Um, so we should have a fun time animating this. And it should be pretty easy. Uh, to record some dialogue to it, animate to, I'm going to click on the Media tab, um, go to Audio, and you'll notice down the bottom here, if you've got an inbuilt microphone or an external microphone, that you can see the levels bouncing around. Uh, I'm just going to hit Record and record something really awesome really quickly. Hey, yo, what's up, dog? Okay, obviously I lied when I said I was going to record something really awesome. Um, you'll notice uh, when I go down to the timeline here, you can see the, the waveforms of my audio. So if I play that, hey, yo, what's up? You can see that uh, these waves correspond to the words that I'm saying. And what we have to do is try and match up the, um, the mouth shapes with those sound waves. Um, what I'm going to do first, however, is just go to the Clips pane. I'm just going to grab the straight neutral face. Because I have to use these over and over again, I'm going to um, drag it down into the timeline, but I'm going to do so holding down the Option key. Um, and what that does is makes a copy. Now, first up, you'll notice that this is rather short. Um, I've got a fair bit of silence here. To change the duration of a clip, um, you should double-click on it, which brings up this... Um, this dialog window. I'm going to type in oh, about 15 milliseconds. Um, so what I have now is, actually I'll make that a little bit shorter, I'll make it 10. Uh, what I have now is just um, this neutral expression. I'm going to grab a cheesy grin um, because I have one of those in here somewhere. Um, and I'm going to copy sorry, drag it down into the timeline, hold down the option key to make a copy and then I'm just going to go click on the first clip, command C go to command V to paste it in and I'm just going to drag this audio to line up uh, with where I want to start speaking so this is what I have so far Hey yo, what's up dog? Now the first sound I make is hey um, now while I don't have a um, mouth shape that necessarily co corresponds uh, with the H sound. Um, I'm just going to have a quick flick through and you know if I was saying the word hey um, this 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 mouth shape would correspond pretty um, pretty well. So I'm going to do once again drag it into the timeline holding the option key to make a copy 
And now when I play it, I have this. Hey, y'all. Now you'll notice that the, the, the hey sound, hey, y'all, um, goes for a little bit longer. So I'm going to increase the duration by double clicking on that clip. Let's make it, okay, one second's way too long. Let's just try, and that's way too long. It's really a process of trial and error. Let's see how this looks. Hey, y'all. You've got to listen to the sounds. Y'all. Yeah, that's pretty much right. Now I need a, a, a sort of Y sound. So what I'm going to do is... I'm actually going to grab this, um, this particular mouth shape. Drag it down into the timeline. And this is what I have so far. Hey, y'all. <laughs> uh, now, obviously, that's uh, pretty dodgy, but you get the idea. You keep repeating that. You try to match up the mouth shapes um, with the wave um, forms in the timeline. If you can't see the wave forms, by the way, you should go to um, the view menu and show audio waveforms, um, and that'll really help you out when it comes to um, editing and matching up those particular sounds. So, very, very quickly, that is how you lip sync. Um, using the photographs that you've created. Of course, um, I've just got a tilting head here. I haven't done too much. You could have eyes blinking, uh, looking left, looking right. Um, you could put in some funny expressions. You could even uh, mix and match the bodies if you wanted to. But it's a really good example of how you can use Photoshop in conjunction with a very basic editing program like iMovie uh, to create um, sort of almost layer-based style animation.